This section concerns business entities. So we begin by discussing what are business entities. Well, to start with, they are state law recognized bodies, but the concept runs much deeper than that. Uh, so we talk some about the importance of business entities, how they formed, and what role they play in the current business practice within society. Okay, then we start categorizing aspects of business, whether the business is privately held by individuals or whether it's publicly owned and traded on a public market. We talk about the concept of widely held versus closely held uh, within uh, a close-knit group of individuals. From there, we talk about the different characteristics of business entities. Specifically, we talk about the process for creating a business entity, the uh, requirements for maintaining the status of that business entity. Uh, this includes any filing requirements or internal maintenance uh, decisions or considerations. Uh, this uh, lends itself to a separate chapter called corporate governance where we focus more specifically on the internal procedures of the business entity. We talk in terms of continuity which uh, concerns uh, what happens to the business entity in certain situations such as when a owner or member of the business uh, disassociates from the business entity or new members of the entity come on board or there are major changes in some aspect of the business entity. So we talked all about uh, the uh, concept of continuity uh, in these situations. Then we talk about ownership. Who owns the business entity? What is their role in the uh, business entity and how is that separated or divided? Uh, then we talk about control. This primarily focuses on the management of the business entity, which in many cases may be or is separate from the ownership of the business entity. So what is their role and function? Then we talk about uh, the elements of personal liability that may pertain to owners of the business entity. To what extent are their personal assets at risk for the obligations of the business entity, which may include any tort liability or contract obligations. Then we talk about compensation. How are the owners and members, employees of the business compensated? How do they receive remuneration for their services or as a result of their ownership status? And then we talk specifically about taxation of the business entity. We spend more time on taxes a little bit later. So we, we look then to the different types of business entities and we seek to apply these different elements to each of the most common forms or types of business entity. We talk about the sole proprietorship, the general partnership, joint venture, limited partnership, limited liability partnership, limited liability company, and then the corporation, which uh, includes a C election corporation and, a, and an S election corporation, because this can affect some of the, oper this tax election can affect some of the aspects of operations of the business entity. Um, so then we focus a little bit harder on individual aspects of taxation as they affect individuals and uh, business owners and the business entity itself. Uh, so we give a brief introduction to income taxes, gains, interest, and dividends, the concept of sales and use tax, and the uh, applicable payroll or self-employment taxes uh, to business entities or to their owners. Uh, so this collectively provides an uh, overarching understanding of the different types of business entities and their characteristics that matter in the process of selecting a business entity or that matter when uh, as considerations when carrying on business with uh, a third party business entity.